just hold tight We're up at the moonlight Believe in the magic On sight We'll make it feel just right Just look at that bright light Believe in the magic And we can save you from your past This bond is always gonna Guys, welcome back to the Sims 4 Realm of Magic with all these cutie little beans and what is that on the floor? Why is there garbage on the floor in this house? Did somebody... I don't know why that's there, but that's not good. That's not good. Let's just get rid of that. Poor Sagittarius coming back in from the cold outside. Emrys is down here. And wait, why is your face cleared up? Why is your face cleared up? You were looking like you had just a, you had gone through like another bout of puberty really badly yesterday why is your face cleared up why is your face clear up was it your acne immunity or is slice of life still slightly broken there Kawhi Stacy hasn't updated it yet it still works but we just have to remove one of the packages so it cannot cause any last exceptions but it's Friday morning uh, Sabrina, Melanie, I keep thinking she's called Sabrina for some reason, that's because I designed her like Sabrina, and I did watch some OG Sabrina episodes earlier today. She's feeling uncomfortable because she did the stupid thing of eating fruitcake, and we don't eat fruitcake in this house. I'm just going to send her through the magical bean portal tree to see what she can get out of it, because I found it in live edit mode. And you know what? I'm assuming this is to do with the magic bean challenge that allowed you to make plant sims so I'm just gonna have her go and look through and see what on earth is going on. Emrys is grounded because he set fire to the bookcases and when I say grounded I mean he doesn't get to have his romantic Solani storyline happening yet. Happening yet. Yeah, he's also dangerously charged and he needs to like calm down so I'm probably gonna have to have him go get some training in but also pick him up a familiar because I do not want my boy exploding. I do not want my boy exploding otherwise I'm going to be very sad and he's too beautiful for me to, to lose him Aha. in this game. Look at that face. Look at that absolutely gorgeous face and those beautiful heterochromia eyes. I don't know why. I thought heterochromia actually looked good in him. I don't know why. I don't know why. And Sagittarius is still pretty pretty angry. I'm going to just try and get him to calm down. He's got like three hours of trying to be castle. So just get him to calm down a little bit once he's done looking up conspiracy theories. So, 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 I'm going to say that his father made him paranoid. His father made him paranoid. Having the ancient bloodline doesn't help him a lot, but he's still feeling pretty angry. I'm going to make sure that he can calm down and then we'll take them into the magic realm. You've been watching romantic comedies. Emrys. Also, after the last episode, I now realised I cannot leave this boy alone because he goes and he does things like setting fire to things without my uh, without my permission. Although his chargedness is making him feel inspired, which is always a bit of a weird one. I'm gonna have to have them transport. No, oh, I was gonna say your glimmerstone's not got his hit. No, I'm actually just gonna make him get rid of his wooden wand. Just get rid of that one because he got that one. He doesn't use wands. So I never use ones. He yeah. likes to use hands, but he still has the one because you never know. He's also got a Morphiate spell which he can study. And Necrocool. Ooh. Oh, these are um I think these are untamed spells. I'll have him study those. Just quickly get these two studied and out of the way, and then I'll send you off into Glimmer. Into the magical realm. How goes the magic bean tree? Melanie, he's not high enough spellcaster to read this tome. Ah, you poor thing. It's just like, oh, this book sounds awesome. I can't read this. And also, he thought it was a, somehow actually. Don't put the bookcase. Don't put it away. Keep it in your, keep it in your inventory. Otherwise, you know, it's gonna we're gonna like lose all the books amongst all the other bookcases. Oh, that we got. Where did you put it? Oh, where did you put it? Did you put it? Yeah, where'd you put it? Oh, there it is. I gotta keep that in his inventory. Can you 
read that one? No. You need a rank master as well for that one. So he can actually read his books. <gasps> Melanie stepped into the portal expecting darkness, but was instead greeted by a bright sunny pasture filled with all kinds of flora. A tree stood off to one side, glowing and bearing fruit. Melanie plucked a fruit from the tree and immediately found the sunny landscape disintegrate into darkness. Before she knew it, she had stepped out of the tree portal with something in her pocket. What'd you find? I know how you're feeling. I know. It's the morning. <gasps> it's the fruit, forbidden fruit the plant sim. Eat and become like the plant sim and grow a tree of your own. Forbidden for it is nothing. Plant and grow a tree of your own. Forbidden for it is nothing more than a facade. Ooh, you'll have to tell Erin about that and be like, I found a plant sim fruit. This is amazing. But then he's probably going to be like, yeah, that's great. I mean, you got to be careful with those kind of things because they're only... They're like illusory spells, I guess. It's like an illusion, an illusion spell. Okay, there's no food in the fridge. There's no food in the fridge and she's quite hungry. Emrys, why don't you go and make us all fruit salad for lunch? Gives you something to do and then we'll send you guys all in later on. Oh, Sagittarius gone to sleep. He's taking a nap. Poor guy. I feel bad for Sagittarius. He has like a difficult relationship with his father despite the, uh, well, despite what this is. Oh, he's not friends with his father anymore. Oh no, he technically is, but he does not get along with his father very, very well. Not a lot. Not very well. Vanessa, though, they're friends. He needs to actually get to know her, which he hasn't done, so we'll probably have to do that. I do want them to go to Spellcaster's Alley, because everyone's going to be picking up familiars. Maybe not Melanie. But she doesn't need a familiar for now. I think she'll be fine for now. She does. Can she brew anything? No, she cannot brew any potions yet. She still needs... She needs to actually collect ingredients. That's what she needs to get. So I'll probably send her off to Spellcast Sally as well. To at least get some uh, ingredients down. Emrys' cooking skill has gotten better. He's the only one who cooks in this house. Everyone else is just like, gotta make potions. Gotta get me alchemy up. And he's like, cool, so I'm designated chef. That's great. Although he's feeling confident with his acne immunity. Which is going to last quite a while. Although he's got a decent... A decent buff. I hope the skin treatment still works. Because I don't know why the acne buff went away. It's probably a good thing though that it's gone away. Because it means we might be able to go to Solani. We might be able to. It is like 12 in the morning. Not 12 in the morning. It is midday. So it's probably a good idea if he... Uh... Oh, she's decided she's just going to make a grilled cheese. That's absolutely fine, Melanie. You can make a grilled cheese. I'll go and stick this in here. Just going to chill in our house. In our nice little house. Once I'm done with this episode, I'm going to embark on a very big project, which is going to be try and completely renovate the Magic Realm school in my world rebuild save and see if I can actually make a decent looking magical school with dorms and offices and all that kind of jazz. Maybe not so much Hogwarts, but something close to Hogwarts, not Warts, as I'm going to call it. I'm also here about those rumours about university being the next uh, pack. And if it is the next pack, I'm going to do an all-girl kind of series. I've got like, I'm going to make like three female sims. And I'm going to do kind of like a sorority styled series where it's like, not so much girls gone wild, but it's like, girl, I think legally blonde, that kind of thing. Girls looking out for each other and being awesome and having to deal with boys. But also getting to the top of your class and Elwood's is you know fantastic she's fantastic Sam are you gonna make some tea that's nice that's nice they're all just doing things here and then they've all got to leave soon you have a glimmer stone so I can send you off you have a glimmer stone do you have your glimmer stone no she lost her glimmer stone oh she's gonna have to walk to the magic realm <laughs> oh poor Melanie Poor Melanie's going to have to walk to the magic realm. I know why she lost it. So it's not just the magic realm where posing bugs out, apparently. It's also the special lots because the Sylvan Glade bugged out and uh, she lost her Glimmer Stone, apparently, that way. So she's got to go to Morgan and be like, hi, I lost my Glimmer Stone as well. To which Morgan is probably thinking, how are you guys losing these? How are you guys losing these? Do you know how hard it is to make them? And I imagine it would be very hard, because you've got to enchant crystals, essentially. And after playing a lot of D&D, &D, enchanting there. things in the game actually takes, like, quite a bit of time. Okay. Off to the magic realm with you. 
off to the magic realm with you. You can call Vanessa up. Okay, we're going straight over there, and then I'll have to bring Melanie along through the portal. Okay, so when one goes to the magic realm, the others cannot follow behind. Alright, Sagittarius, Melanie, let's get here and do some things. You can invite uh, Vanessa over. She should be around. Invite her to hang out, and then you guys can go and hang out and do things. Melanie, you're here. Let's uh, find Morgan and get a new glimmer stone from him. Last I saw he was attempting to play the guitar and okay he's not up here normally you find him up here but apparently not today he's probably downstairs and there he is there he is walking through still looking absolutely absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous ask him for a glimmer stone because you lost yours in the sylvan glade which I don't <laughs> I don't blame you for. She's just like, oh, I gotta get a new one. I gotta get a new one. Oh, is he going to? <gasps> he wants to take a picture with Vanessa already. I think someone's got a little crush on Vanessa. Don't you guys think? Uh, they're in a group as well. That's great. That's great. Okay, you guys go and cast this alley together. And I think that was just Joaquin then flying off. Uh, cast this alley is over here. So I'm gonna send you two off here to together. Emrys, we're going to get you into that outfit that I made for you. It was supposed to be if he was going to be dealing with his breakout, but apparently he managed to uh, not... Uh, he managed to fix his breakout pretty, pretty quickly. She does not look happy. She does not look happy. When it loads, it does take a bit of a while for clothes to change now, which is unfortunate. And then you're going to go and get some training from Morgan. You train out in the open and then when they're alone they tend to start being all cutesy and romantic and Morgan starts getting all touchy-feely. Which is uh which might say say something about a uh, might say something about their kind of relationship. Also I put the boots on Amaris cuz he looks cute. His cute little outfit the mask is because he wasn't feeling pretty and it was supposed to hide most of his breakout. I say, Melanie, do you have a glimmer stone? I think you're also looking for... Melanie, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. And you appear to have broken as well. I think it's because he keeps moving around. The sage is kind of... I say break unless he's going down the stairs. Oh, no. There he is. All right, she's going to hopefully be able to ask for a glimmer stone. Hopefully, now he's walking up the stairs again. Okay, these interactions need to be fixed because they seem to be slightly broken. You ask them for one thing, they move around, and then you got to. Is he gonna have to walk down the stairs again? Nope, he walks out there. Walks out there. Okay, this might be the problem because Emrys is now walking up to him, super confident, just like, "Hey, got any new spells for me?" He's like, "Yep, here you go." Sit <laughs> that. This is how he learns his spells. He's just like, books? Nah, I can just ask my sugar daddy. Inferniate, Zip Zap, Necrical. You have a book on that one. I think the other one was... What was the other book? It wasn't this one. I think it might have been Practical or Mischief. It might have been uh, from... Practical... I don't remember if it was a potion. I'm not too sure, but you got a new spell. You have a new spell. Be mischievous to Melanie. Ah, oh, poor thing. Okay. Oh, no, she's actually following him to be like, cool, I'm going to need to get that glimmer stone now, and then I have to go and... Are you going for a nap? Yes, you are. <laughs> it's just like, God, I'm so tired. Get into the Don't magic realm is super out? tiring. Uh -huh. cool, yeah. All right, hopefully he's got another glimmer stone for her, because he's probably getting frustrated. Shops. With the oh, fact that yeah. all these guys just keep losing their uh, glimmer stones <laughs> everywhere. Okay, Melanie. You are going to go and experiment with some potion making. Don't lose your glimmer stone. Vanessa's gone over here, which means Sagittarius. I left him alone in... Sorry, he's oh, oh no, he's talking to Conqueroo the other Lima. Morgan that exists in Lima. this game. Yeah. Okay, Brooms and crystals. We're going to see if he can get a broom, but we wanted tomes and familiars. That's what we wanted to do. 
And he was supposed to be getting a uh, tome with Vanessa, but she's decided she's got better things to do. And Emrys has apparently decided to go and take a nap. Going to take a nap. Nobody's up here, which means yes. Morgan's going off to his little special place. Oh no. A raven, an owl, and a skull. Get all three because those actually look like so much fun. And I think. Raven for Sagittarius. The six of owl for Melanie. And the skull for Emrys because he's a little bit of a cheekster. Okay, you managed to uh, get. Some things. Can you use scrub ruin yourself? You can. I think you can. I want to see how it works. Uh, he was supposed to buy broom some brooms and stuff, but that did not work. And I'm also going to see what familiar he can bind himself to. We're going to bind him to the raven. And we're going to see what that's like. <gasps> Luna. Ooh! What can you name a raven? Luna sounds cute, but I think we're going to name it the Raven Queen. Also, this can be fun. I want to see what this is like. Oh, his hygiene's <laughs> up. That's good. And now he can summon his familiar. Summon the Raven Queen. <gasps> that's so cool. He's got a little raven following him. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I'm going to need you to go and do some studying as well this is going to be fun. I'm going to pause because people can be off doing their own things and I need to get everyone in place. Ah, Vanessa's in here just chilling out in front of the fire I accidentally moved that oh good, it moved back to its original painting who painted? Layla. Wow that's a terrible painting Layla. I don't even know why you're here you're not even a spellcaster uh, I'm going to have you look for some tomes to read. How's your potion making going on? She's having fun experimenting. I'm going to have to send her home soon. And Emrys has started speaking with Siobhan, who once again is not a spellcaster. Once again, these guys are alone. And once again, wow. Morgan just being... Oh, you got him as... So you're the one who keeps doing it to him. He's in a flirty mood now. Every time Emrys does something, they can become best friends. Do it. I don't know what it is you do to it. Ah, uh, are there any other romance options they can do? Sagittarius found a tome of emotional well, uh, stability. He probably it. needs it. Kind of, they're just chatting. Did it say they could become best friends, or did it not actually work? Let's actually try it again, because that didn't seem to work. Time. I know you're tired. You'll be exhausted in two hours. It's fine. Huh? And now the best friends. Yay! He's, your dude, yeah. eh? <laughs> He's like, alright. Alright, Morgan probably been like, I haven't had a best friend in like five years. I'd say he's he's an incredibly like young young sage. Had to put an age on him. Uh, early twenties, twenty three maybe. Became a sage at a young age, but was also incredibly talented at being a sage. Which would totally make sense considering how easily he picked up magic in the trailer. I think he did also overload, which probably uh, did not have good consequences, but it probably changed him as well. Morgan was probably a very different person before. Before. Oh. Uh, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? They haven't. Oh, it's just Katrina. It's fine. If it was one of the sages, they'd be in trouble. But it's fine. It's fine. Oh, you're not looking. You're not looking so hot, are you? You're not looking hot at all. But they're just having an incredibly flirty, flirty conversation. I want to see what happens. Every time I use that one, normally it's never a good thing. But I think Morgan. I think Morgan appreciated it. A little too much. His face is just like very rosy. It's matching his shirt. That's how pink he's gotten. Well, actually, that's how red he's gotten. Rather. 
And what you can do is just look at him and smile. Because no other like romantic options popping up. There are these, but these are like standard if you have the romantic trait. They're standard if you've got the romantic trait. For other... You know what? Let's make Katrina go away. Let's make her go away and also get this uh, cast spell on a sim like thing out the way. Let's... <laughs> she is so completely unfazed. She's completely unfazed. She's just like, oh. She's just like, oh, what was that? Discuss vision spots, really? Did you forget about my birthday? It's not your birthday, Annabelle. Your birthday is not for years, months, weeks, time. It's not for. It's not for a while. But it got her away. It got her away. Then I love birds. It's slowly gone up. Let's try and grab that last trait out of him. Let's grab that last trait. Boom. A certain discomfort. Oh, you're tired, that's why. I know. You're tired. You're tired. Don't go to bed. He's just like, okay, I, I'm so t I have to go to bed. I have to go to bed. He's just like, alright. I'll just be here. Blushing. Like a freaking... I don't know. Let's see if he can get to the bed before he passes out. That's the question. Sergi boy is feeling ambitious. Feeling adventurous. Feel like you can take on the world. That's pretty decent. He's got his little raven. He's got his little raven. That's so cute. That's so cute. Um, bathrooms are downstairs, aren't they? Oh no, there's one right here. I was just like, where are they? Okay, let's send you to the bathroom and then you can also go to sleep. You can also go to sleep. Because this is what this place is essentially for. Because then they can sleep in the beds. And it's all good. You're just going straight off to bed. Now he's... <laughs> he's just like... Nah it's like, nah, I ain't sleeping in one of those. That bed's not good enough. That bed's not good enough. That's because he wants to go sleep in Elphaba's bed. Where's Melanie's been sleeping. <laughs> She's also feeling quite ambitious. Guys, come on, you can't sleep in the sages' beds unless you're actually sleeping with the sages. Speaking of which. You're just like, cool, this is my bed now. Yeah, Eris is just like, yeah, this is my bed now. Oh no, he can't sleep in it. He's not going to sleep. Why can't he sleep in it? Is it because technically this is... Yeah, it's not letting them sleep in the beds, it seems. Or at least in those beds. And you're also feeling pretty tired as well. I'm just going to let them all sleep here. And then when they're all nice and freshly awake, we can see how things go. He's also going to give the other two their familiars. And Sabrina is the first to finish her sleepy times because she's a bit uh well she went to bed first i think but just can have a salute get changed as well because can't go can't go walking around oh no oh no i forgot to paint the inside of these walls oh man i have to do that oh man that's so annoying that's so Annoying. Okay, do we have any more like potion? But she's got a new glimmer stone. But I'm gonna send her off to Spellcaster's Alley and see if we can get her some more potion books. Is that the way? Yeah, go to Caster's Alley. Sagittarius, I think, actually found some spells. Yeah, he found. It was a potion of emotional. Yes. Emotional stability. St st I can't say it. Stability. So I'm going to have him study that. And Emrys, we actually do need you to actually learn some spells and stuff. You need to know three different spells and become an acolyte. So you, You're still tired though, so we're just going to leave you. Let's go and focus with Sabrina. Melanie. 
I should have just called her Sabrina because I made her look like Sabrina. But I named her Melanie because it was like different. I don't know. I'm a stoop. I'm a stoop sometimes. Every whoa, everyone is just showing up outside. Herman's here. Chris is here having a discussion with him. Looks like the Witches Council are having a kind of an impromptu discussion. Not sure what it could be about though. Grilled cheese apparently. But sounds like uh, sounds like Simeon might have. Yeah, because once again, once again, Simeon is in here staring at the portrait of the Incubus. And I think Simeon is going to have to go to the Witches' Council about this. Think about it. Simeon and Elphaba are a bit more... They've probably been sages for a few years. They took over the last ones at least a good decade or so ago. Because they're adults. And Morgan comes in. And he's all just like... Hi, I kind of had a crap-like background. But I really want to learn magic. Please don't tell my parents where I am. So they teach him... Aina, I think her name is, teaches him, gives him all the the relevant info. You blushing again. Gives him all the relevant info, teaches him, makes him become a master of untamed arts. She up and vanishes. And then Morgan is now the next sage. And the first thing he does when he gets his brand new office is puts up a picture of a demon in there. Me thinks somebody with this beautiful, beautiful face me thinks this beauty has come with a price. Me thinks somebody dabbled in some dark arts. And that's not good. That's not good. And if the Witches Council actually got wind of Morgan doing these things. Not to mention fooling around with a student as well. Morgan's gonna be in such trouble if Araman finds out. They'll strip him of his magic. They will kick him out of the magic realm. They might sentence him to a hundred years as a cat. Nobody wants to get sentenced to a hundred years as a cat. Let's see what we can get from her. We need some tomes and potion ingredients. So we need those. Because we need to get some more spell tomes and stuff. More potion tomes at least. Because we need to know some more. Uh, fairy, phoenix, there's the raven again. Sagittarius has learnt his uh, emotional stability. To deathify, emotional stability, and magical aura. Let's grab these two. These guys are gonna get broke probably soon if they're not careful. So she's got some new tone. You learned a new potion recipe. You're so smart. Ah, the raven complimented him. He's like, "You're so smart, Sagittarius. Don't you listen to your father? He doesn't understand you." Uh, I need to buy some potion ingredients because. Once, wait, if you click out of it, apparently that cancels it. Now, there were some things. We've got an angelfish, a dragon fruit. That's expensive. Oh, we need an apple. We need... A we can never know when we're going to need a potato. There's the perk purging, which resets things. Interesting how that's a $30 potion. Dragon fruit, maybe. Angelfish. Uh, if I could get a cherry tree... If I could get cherries to grow, that would be very, very useful. I'm going to send you home. You can study your tomes at home. If you decide you want to go back to bed, yeah, you've decided you want to go back to bed. I'm going to send you home as well. I'm going to send you home as well. Before you go home, actually. Before you go home. Before you go home. Stop mo walking. Uh, send Vanessa a text. Just tell her that you had fun hanging out with her and, you know, she should come over and study at some point and then you guys can uh, go home. I'm also gonna leave, uh, actually I'll leave those in his inventory. Let's actually give uh, Emrys a new familiar. I saw a fairy and some other fun things. I might have him fly to the, because he can use brooms I think. Might have to have him fly to the um, caster's alley. These guys. Oh, these three are now in a deep conversation. 
I'm not sure what could be going on there. But something serious if we're, if they're in, if they're not including Erin or Jasmine in the conversation. Are oh, you happy? You want to stargaze the Sagittarius because he's your friend. Aww. Aren't you just the cutest? Okay, you're going to need to get dressed. You're going to need to get dressed. Let's stick the cute little witchy outfit on because I think it's adorable. I think it's adorable. And let's go to Caster's Alley. And then... Oh, is that... I'm spying a beanie. Is that... It is! I've also been recording for almost 40 minutes, so I should probably start wrapping this up soon. Oh, it's Isaac. Oh, you look so sad. You look so sad, but apparently you still wear the little beanie and those as well. They were on him when uh, I downloaded him. Oh, why are you sad, friendo? He is a very sad... He's a very sad boy. Oh. Poor thing. Okay. Actually, let's send you home. Let's send you home. We can pick out another familiar for you. Another day. Maybe? Okay. Oh, you're a disaster, you know that. Emrys. I'm just gonna leave this episode here while, uh... I'm just gonna leave this episode here with with Emrys, because the, the, poor, the poor boy needs help. The poor boy needs help. He's walking around in the charcoal mask at six in the morning. And he really needs to go home and get some more studying done. Otherwise, if he stays here, bad things will happen. Bad things will happen. But I'm going to finish this episode here because it has been about 40 minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video where we just might be going to Solani now. I don't know. See you guys. We're doing it all. The feeling is so. Maybe you got me.